Today in cannabis news, the NAACP and ACLU urge Rhode Island state legislators to legalize cannabis by the end of 2021. After congressional pressure on President Joe Biden's administration, a U.S. military veteran who was deported for a cannabis-related arrest has finally come back home. And in the new legislative session, a key Mexico senator predicts legislators will hash out cannabis legalization once more. It's Thursday, September 2nd, and this is your Tricombs Morning Buzz. Broadcasting live from the Tricombs.com studios in Southern California, it's time for your Morning Buzz. We bring you late-breaking news that keeps you up to date with what's happening in the cannabis industry. First up, a group of 10 social justice and drug law reform activist organizations such as the ACLU and NAACP chapters in the state of Rhode Island are urging legislators to pass cannabis legalization legislation by the year's end. Similarly, the chief authors of dueling cannabis legalization proposals in the state House and Senate revealed this week that talks to iron out the discrepancies among their proposals and another suggested by the governor are progressing smoothly. Yes, we cannabis Rhode Island campaigners claim they are urging lawmakers to reach a deal to equitably legalize cannabis for adults in a special legislative session tentatively slated for this fall, according to a statement published this week by the group. The group also referenced polls that show a large majority of Americans supporting abolishing cannabis prohibition and expunging earlier cannabis offenses in this statement. Next up, after a persistent effort for justice by U.S. Congress members, a military veteran who faced deportation to Jamaica due to a cannabis charge has been authorized to re-enter the United States. Howard Bailey, a Navy veteran, was imprisoned over 20 years ago after cannabis was brought to their residence for someone else, and they pled guilty on the lawyer's advice. When they subsequently applied for citizenship, they disclosed their record, and Immigration and Customs Enforcement utilized the solitary cannabis violation as the grounds for initiating a deportation case. Former Virginia State Governor Terry McAuliffe granted Bailey a pardon in 2017, and now President Joe Biden's administration is being praised for acting on the appeals for additional assistance, allowing them to come back home. Supporters have praised Bailey's homecoming, and they've also pointed out that the situation highlights the necessity for immigration reform. In June, Bailey spoke on the immigration system before a Senate Judiciary Subcommittee, remarking, This is not something I wish on anyone. I would never want to live and see any other family go through what my family went through. Last up, according to a prominent Mexico senator, the subject of creating policies for a controlled cannabis industry will be revisited by legislators in the upcoming legislative session. In 2018, the prohibition on recreational individual use and production of cannabis was initially declared unconstitutional by the nation's Supreme Court. Ever since, Congress has attempted to pass legislation on the matter, though legislators have consistently missed court deadlines to repeal cannabis prohibition. In June, the Supreme Court went ahead and nullified cannabis prohibition nationwide before the development of a regulation framework. In the same month, President Andres Manuel Lopez Abrador stated that their office will accept the verdict of the court and that additional reformations might be put on the ballot for voters. However, Morena Party Senator Julio Ramon Mancaca Salazar asserted in a statement this week that cannabis legalization will preferably be discussed by legislators in the upcoming session. That was today's buzz. Thanks for listening. For more cannabis news and insights from industry professionals and a place to discuss these stories and others, visit tricones.com. And be sure to catch up with all of our other cannabis industry related podcasts like Hash It Out, Tech and Cannabis, or the International Cannabis Conversation, wherever you get your podcasts. For Tricombs.com, I'm Devin Leal. And I'm RJ Balde, signing off.